Hello once again, welcome to Check My Rack. Today we will be looking at... Just wait, wait, wait a minute. Can you hear it? What, what, what is it? It's a vacuum cleaner? It's a car? It's a plane? It's a jumbo jet? No, it's a GBBR. Today I have another HPA GBBR replica to show you. And as promised, this time it's WE. It's not exactly an M4 because it's uh, highly converted to be an L119A1 from the UK Special Forces. But apart from the looks uh, and the paint job and the accessories I put on here, Disclaimer, not everything is fully according to what should be found on the L119. This is basically an upgraded M4 from WE. One note, uh, it's tuned already, so it has the steel uh, bolt group from RA Tech with standard plastic WE nozzle. It has an angry gun hop-up chamber and steel internals also for the trigger group, the array tech of course. It runs a 420mm 6.01 diameter uh, inner barrel from array tech and has some custom hop-up made by me. Apart from this, I think this is more or less uh, internally at least stock, like performance wise. But what's important, it runs on HPA. I know that there were uh, already such a systems on the market, especially for WE, and they were called, I think, Alien or something like that. And there was also some Russian company or some guys doing something similar. There, they were using the AEG magazines uh, for the GBBRs and they had similar um, HPA hose routing as I do. The difference is that the frog engineering conversions, one thing, they also are available for VFC guns. Allian was not available because of lack of space for routing those uh, HPA lines. Uh, one more have that frog engineering conversion has and others don't, is the functional bolt catch. So this was very annoying for me when I first read about uh, those conversions, I wanted to get one, but it made little sense to me, uh, because how are you able to say if you emptied your mag on GBBR if you have no bolt catch, it kills all the realism, and this was the, the starting point for my investigation and the whole idea behind those conversions. One thing I needed to do is, however, come up with another magazine solution because in regular AEG magazines you have nothing, no feature, that would allow you to recognize that the BBs are out now and you should block the bolt group. Therefore, again, we have those special magazines. And again, magazine is 3D printed. In my case, I print these shells and the bottom plates from, from strong resin, similar to plastic and the internals are printed on an FDM printer uh, from PLA, PETG and yeah, that's basically it. This is exactly the reason why I needed those magazines because then I'm able to build in a feature that will hold the bolt after the last shot. And the gun itself is the usual frog engineering setup only fitting the WE um, with Conversion inside, the hose routed into the pistol grip, making it work on the HPA. There is one more thing I wanted to mention here, because, as I said, this conversion works for VFC or WE. Actually, these are two different conversions using the exact same magazine. Whether I take the WE, the magazine fits, or if I take VFC, it's exactly the same magazine that I will put in. It works. Normally, if you buy a VFC, this magazine, 
and WE, this magazine, they are different. You cannot put them into the GBBR um, like, you know, crosswise. So WE does not work in VFC and the other way around. And the reason is they have different interfaces. If you compare two magazines, VFC and WE, you will notice the difference. So VFC has a different shape of the seal here and the feeding lips are they are like starting right at the edge of the magazine while WE has the seal more to the rear and also the feeding lips are more to the rear it's few millimeters away from the front edge and of course they have completely different shapes and if you seat the magazine into the VFC uh, lower then you will notice that uh, even the bolt has no option to strip the BB out of here. Yeah, so they just are not compatible. And this is exactly why I wanted to avoid creating the frog engineering conversion. So I already said one magazine fits both. But the downside of it is that actually you need to modify also the hop up chamber. Normally it has the part that goes back to the feeding lips and you have to cut it off. I'll make a video on how to assemble the conversion yourself and I will explain in details. Let's leave it out for the moment. Let's go back to the parameters of this particular rifle. Regarding the build, I already said what it has inside. Whenever you talk about the performance of any HPA GBBR, you need to take into consideration also the regulator and the system you are running because it's um, directly connected. In my case, this is Redline Mini SFR. So this gun has around 16 BBs per second. Uh, we will measure in a moment. And it's set for um, 1.9 joules on 0.36 gram BBs. It can pull off much, much more. Okay, so enough talking. Let's see the, how the gun shoots. Again, um, one more consideration. I said in my previous videos that when you are connecting the HPA to any GBBR platform, uh, AR10 type, you need to put it on safe and then it means that you can connect the HPA and it won't fire. This is not true for stock WE guns. So in stock, uh, the safety function in WE is different, so you are able even when the valve is pressed, so the trigger is pulled, you are able to put it, the gun on safe. You are not able to charge it when it's on safe and it was not charged. And if you replace the trigger mechanism to array tech, it works exactly the same as in VFC, meaning I am not able to put it on safe unless it's charged. When it's charged, it's safe to put the HPA connection to it. So if I pull the trigger now, I'm not able to put it on safe unless I charge it and now I can put it to safe and I know that I can connect the HPA. Again, this is not the case for the stock WE gun. The chamber is empty. If I shoot without the magazine, the bolt lock will not catch, so I can give you a couple of single fire shots. So let's do it. You can hear the ringing from this four prong flash hider, but what can I say? Now let's check the bolt catch functionality. Empty magazine, locked. Empty magazine, locked. Fresh empty magazine. This was exactly what I was missing in these other HPA GBBR conversions. And now some full auto. You've already seen it in the intro, but let's do it again. So the rate of fire is very high. And just a formality. Bolt cache on full auto. So set it to full auto. No difference. It works. So, I said everything I wanted to about the gun for the moment, let's chrono it. It 
it's set to just below uh, 1.9 joules and now let's run some full auto. That's all for today. If you liked the video please subscribe, give me a like, write me a comment and hit the notification bell. There are still more guns uh, to come with different HPA systems. Additionally, there are more series starting on the channel showing not only the conversions for HPA and the guns I built of it, but also some other improvements to either the guns or the gear you can do. So be sure not to miss out on those two. If you like to learn how to build such a um, L119 replica, where to find the parts, what improvements I've done, how to build this gun in general, then let me know and I might post some video uh, dedicated to this topic. I'm starting to get questions where to get the HPA conversions and they are not uh, widely available yet. Uh, I will post a video about this soon. I'm a private person, not a company. So for me, making a big bulk of those conversions for sale widely, uh, it's a big investment. First, I want to gather people interested in it, popularize this as much as I can, and then I will release those conversions uh, for everybody to purchase them. If you are in really interested in getting one of these guns, then you can contact me for details, because of course I built some of those guns already not only for myself, also for other people. Maybe I am able to build a gun for you um, according to your spec. For this moment, that's all and may the power of GBBR be with you.